<sighs> Look, I don't mean to make fun of the people who are upset by this, but if you thought you can simply go and steal someone's $1,000 address and then keep it because now it's yours, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... Oh, it is a 20... Oh my God, it's the 29th of January. Where has this month gone? <gasps> 3.1, is that much closer? And the 600i, is that coming? We have some star citizen drama today. I haven't said that in a while. <laughs> what is the drama about? Well, it has to do with stealing ships and the insurance system. Now, let me tell you guys who are new. When they first announced this insurance system in Star Citizen, it didn't take more than five seconds for people to say, aha, I know how to scam this. How do you scam it? Well, let's say I have an Idris M and my buddy over there also wants an Idris M but doesn't have one. How about he steals it from me and then I just go claim another one. Now we have two. So let's expand that further now. You have an organization of 50 buddies and you all want an Idris, but only one guy in your org has it. How about he simply keeps on getting it stolen by mistake and keeps on claiming more. Now all 50 of you have an Idris. Congratulations. It's going to be such a cool night. No. It's not going to happen. And it took all of three seconds after the first announcements for people to really start planning about how they'll simply go steal every single ship in the game and then it'll belong to them. But Montoya, didn't Chris Roberts say you can pay some money and get transponder changes? Yes, I know. You know what? I kind of get the feeling that every time Chris Roberts says something, all the system designers and everyone else is like, oh God, Chris, just... Someone tell Chris to stop talking, because <laughs> Chris Roberts did say they were thinking about perhaps having some sort of pirate insurance and you go to some shady dealer somewhere and he'll change a transponder so the ship won't show is stolen. There's lots of ideas, but remember, alpha, 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 the game is in alpha and they will change their minds a thousand times about stuff. Uh, remember the Cutlass Black? The Cutlass Black was supposed to have this docking ring at the bottom and it was supposed to clamp down on another ship and then cut a hole and everyone will drop in and then steal that ship then and look that's out too as it turns out the physics behind it wasn't going to work really well and it's out CIG will change their minds about a lot of things so don't plan your entire gaming profession like this poor guy did on reddit named too good for his own good he bought a prowler and his plan was to sneak up on a ship with his prowler and drop his buddies in and then they'll Acquire, what does he call it? Capital acquisitions. He wants to acquire all the capital ships in the game. This was his plan. And now he's thrown out the water. He's butthurt, very upset about it. But look, it sounded ridiculous from the get-go. Uh, the idea that you can simply go steal someone's ships and it's yours? No. So what is the drama about? Basically, systems designer CIG Will Maiden responded to a question about the insurance system. And what he said was, Basically, if you steal a ship, it's yours for that session. You log out, that ship is gone. There's some uh, flaws in that plan too. Uh, you won't be able to land and then order the ship to come back later. The ship is not yours, it is gone. A couple of things he also mentioned, we'll touch on that. But as far as the ship only being yours, yours for the session, how about if you stole a ship and you simply go AFK and your buddies fly the ship for two or three days while you AFK, for two or three days. Does that still make the ship stay there? I suspect there will be some sort of timer, perhaps, saying you have a certain amount of time in which the ship will despawn unless you do something like go to a chop shop. The chop shop idea is one I think they will go to. So what happens? You steal an Idris M. It has some upgraded shields, and upgraded weapons, and an upgraded engine. You take it to a chop shop, and they give you the value of the scrap plus whatever modifications. So the more modified, the more money you make. How's that sound? I think that's something they'll probably go towards. So what did Will Maiden say? First of all, the self-destruct issue. If you steal a ship, can you self-destruct If can you self -destruct your ship if someone steals it to prevent them from getting it? Now, anyone who's watched any episode of Star Trek has seen this happen many, many times. <laughs> it's a nice idea. But it uh, puts too much power in the hands of the person owning the ship. Like if you lost your ship because you weren't able to defend it, uh, the people taking it should be getting some sort of reward for their efforts. So self-destruct, they were not sure about. They said, and this is good, let 
things develop more organically, which is a wonderful, wonderful idea. Let the game develop organically and they can always adjust from there. Uh, all right, so going on with what he replied, when you claim, when you make a claim on a ship, the original ship becomes a property of insurance company, meaning you steal my address. I go make a claim. That address is now marked by the insurance company and they can send out people, hey, you want to go bounty hunting? There's a ship over there. You'll get that ship. That's what he's thinking about that. So it may trigger missions, which is a nice idea. I'm not sure about that because... Again, goes back to the first thing, how long will the ship be persistent for if a person simply goes AFK? We don't know. Other thing he said was, when you claim on a ship, the original ship is no longer needed by the server. This is what I mentioned in the first place there, that once you are logged out, that ship is gone. It is not persistent. It doesn't belong to you, uh, which is what the second post was. When you claim a ship, the original ship does not become the property of your friend. Exactly. You steal the ship. It doesn't become yours. It doesn't belong to you. And if you log out, that ship despawns. It is gone. You can't go land it somewhere and then call it up in your fleet manager. Uh, the last point he made was hit their wallet where making a claim, making, make claiming cost more, which sounds good at first, but I gave this some thought. Now, let's say I and 10 of my pirate buddies are coming after you and your address. We are just totally griefing you for the day. Uh, we see you undock and flying off. We jump in, we hijack your ship, and off we go to have fun with your ship. You then go and order your second address, which costs a lot more money. And we come back and we steal that one. Uh, you go, okay, now I'm frustrated. You go back to get your third one, but it's too expensive to get your third address now. Um, that sounds like a problem. Why should a bunch of players griefing dictate what ship you get to enjoy for that evening. So I'm not sure about this hitting their wallet to make it uh, cost more. I kind of feel that if your ship gets stolen and you go claim another one, maybe a half hour, 45 minute countdown timer or something because I don't feel that some players griefing another should be able to dictate what ship they get to enjoy for that evening. I'm not sure about this last one. But anyway, that is in a nutshell what happened and that is what the free cut is about. So, are you triggered by this? Are you really upset? Let me know your anger. Post below. I want to understand your frustrations. And if you don't care, also, post below. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Drop your comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.